Hey guys, it is Cora here. So today I'll be showing you guys on how to farm almost any bosses in Terraria for almost under two minutes. So first you wanna make sure you have Game Killer. And I will leave the link of Game Killer uh, down in the description down below. You need to have the full version and the link will be um, how to get the full version of Game Killer. So yeah, and once you've gotten Game Killer, you wanna make sure uh, you have these two statues right here. I have the slime statue and the bunny statue. And the slime statue will be spawning the blue slime, by the way, but you know, you guys shouldn't really care if it spawns uh, whatever uh, slime it is, but it should spawn the blue slime. So anyways, um, once you have those two statues, you wanna make sure in your area, there's no mobs. And I know I'm in a farm or, any, or something, but this isn't like this farm, um, isn't gonna be used in the video except for the lava at the bottom so that way um, So that mobs won't spawn as much. So anyways, once you have that you want to spawn one of these slimes So I'm gonna spawn one slime, right? I'm gonna go to game killer I'm gonna pause the game so mobs won't spawn while I'm explaining you want to put one here because that is the NPC ID of the blue slime so you're gonna need the NPC ID of the blue slime, the bunny, and the boss that, you're, that you want to change it into. Or any mob that has a special item that you cannot get because you know it's a rare drop. So in my case, I'm gonna be using the dungeon guardian because the bone key is really hard to get. You have to you know wait and kill the dungeon guardian to actually get the bone key, and it takes a while. So you know I'm not fit for waiting anyway. So you know that's why I'm gonna be using the NPC ID of the dungeon guardian on this video. So anyways, you wanna put one there because that is the NPC ID of the blue slime and you wanna search it up. You tap that search button. Yeah. So anyways, you wanna go to auto identify and then once this thing uh, this is done, you wanna get out of game killer and obviously kill the blue slime. You wanna check again if there's any mobs. There we go, there's no mobs. And I'm gonna spawn in a bunny. I'm gonna make sure there's no mobs again. So, as you can see, that's a bunny. I'm gonna go to Game Killer again, and I'm gonna look up 46. Let me check if that is. Okay, it is 46. Okay, so you're gonna put 46 there because that's the NPC ID of the bunny. Sorry, I was looking <laughs> at the paper I have on the floor <laughs> I dropped there, but whatever. So that's the NPC ID of the bunny. You wanna look that up. And then as you guys can see, it has four results. Now what you wanna do is you wanna tap this button right here, and you wanna go to data control. And this feature only works if you have the full version of Game Killer. That's why I have a video link in the description for you guys to watch so you guys know how to get the full version of Game Killer. And once you go to data control, you wanna go to modify all values. And this is where the magic happens. So in here, you're gonna type in um, the NPC ID of whatever mob or boss you want. So let's say you want to put, you know, Duke Feshron. Simply look up the NPC ID of Duke Feshron and, you know, that will spawn. So I'm going to put 68 here because I want the Dungeon Guardian. So if I were to put 68 and I exit out of Game Killer, as you guys can see, the bunny turned into the texture of the Dungeon Guardian. And, uh, it's obviously um, a bunny, so it's not gonna kill me or attack me at all. So I can just walk through it. And yes, it's pretty much just the texture. The bunny texture changed to a boss. However, um, so if I were to kill this um, bunny slash dungeon guardian, it will drop the drop, like it will drop the item that the dungeon guardian will drop, which is the bone key. So if you were to put the let's say let's say you want to change the bunny into something else let's say you want to change the bunny to a duke fish one it will turn into a duke fish one um texture and it will drop one of the items that the duke fish one will drop however it will not drop like you know potions and you know hearts and everything it will just drop the item itself so that's pretty much what's gonna work i think so if I were to, well, I haven't tested it on Duke version yet. Yeah, I think it only drops the main item. So if I were to kill this um, dungeon guardian, wait, actually, let me make sure. Yeah, I have this bunky right now because I was trying to do this video earlier, but then, you know, I keep messing up. Like, I keep 
uh, failing when I try to explain things because I'm really bad at explaining. But yeah, as you guys can see, there's no um, bone key in my inventory, and you guys can you know rewatch this part just to make sure. So if I were to kill this bunny right here, it should be named Bunny. Okay, whatever, it disappeared. If I were to kill this bunny, as you guys can see, it dropped the bone key. So pretty much whatever boss or whatever mob you want to put in the part where you can modify all of the values. Um, so let's say you want to do the ice queen, it will drop the blizzard stuff. I think, I think that's what it's called. So yeah, you guys can see the item 100, it works 100%. So yeah, I hope you guys understand this video. Sorry if uh, the way how I explain things is really bad, you know. It's really hard to explain things when you're learning new things. So yeah, um, I hope you guys share this video to your friends if they also want to try this trick out. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.